Hi, this is Professor Wolber. I'm going to tell you about some changes you can make to I Have a Dream, um, the challenges that you were given. And I'm going to show you how to do things. We're going to talk about text-to-speech. We're going to talk about you know, how to vibrate the phone. All right. We're going to talk about how to respond to the phone being shaken. And, and finally, we'll, you know, I'll tell you how to change the screen, um, the, the app icon that shows up when, when you actually install the app. Okay. Um, and you know, I'm also going to show you how to add, if you want to make a new soundboard app, I would create a third picture and 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 bring the you know upload an image and, and sound file and all, all that kind of stuff. So I'll, I'll show you how to make a general sound soundboard app. Okay, so first thing is screen icon. So choose the screen component. There's an icon, and whatever image you choose here, that's going to show up in your app list on your phone. So when you install the app, it, instead of having that kind of weird uh, app inventor you know default, it'll actually show you whatever file you choose here and you can upload a file whatever you want to do and that'll be your app icon okay so that's the app icon uh, next thing we're going to do is, is is actually make make the changes to the code so I'm going to add a couple new components um, one is an accelerometer sensor this is going to allow us kind of sense when the phone is being shaken okay so that that'll that'll help and um, we also want the text to speech and that's in media so if I go to media I can choose text to speech and that allow us to use that automated kind of phone computer voice to, to say things. Okay, so let's go over to our, our blocks and let's let's make the, the changes. Um, first thing is we don't want to play Malcolm's speech anymore. We don't want to start his sound file. Instead, what we're going to do is just do text to speech. And there's a great block called speak, and it just whatever you put in here, it's going to say it. Okay, so I can grab a text block, and I can say whatever I want here. And uh, I'm going to say I'm Malcolm X. Now, in this case, it's fixed data, but you could put anything in there, right? You could put if whatever the user entered, you could have it spoken spoken back to them. Okay, so anyway, that's how that's going to work. And I've already connected to the live connection. If I touch Malcolm on my phone, my phone's sitting here next to me. I am Malcolm the tenth. Okay, it says I am Malcolm the tenth, right? It interprets the X as the tenth. Um, so anyway. That's, that's the text-to-speech thing. Okay, next thing we're going to do is vibration. And the player components, and, and sound components as well, um, they know how to vibrate the phone. Okay, so when MLK gets touched, we're going to vibrate. Okay, so I'm going to go to MLK Player and grab the vibrate block. And I'm going to put it right, right there. And it, it takes a parameter. You've got to put something in, uh, in that slot. And I'm going to put 1,000 in here. And that's a thousand milliseconds. A millisecond is one one thousandth of a second. So a thousand of them is a second. So this is going to make the phone vibrate for a second. So when I touch MLK, um, you know, it starts his speech. And I don't know if you could hear, hear that vibration that happened, but it also vibrates the phone. Okay? So that's how you do vi vibration with a player component. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these blocks. Third thing I'm going to do is, you know, all our events now are clicks. So when, when the user touches the phone, something happens. But you can also make it so when they shake the phone, something happens. So I'm going to grab accelerometer sensor, and it's got a shaking event. It's also got a, another event that when the phone is moved, gives you more information, like how fast it's being moved, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just going to grab shaking, and, you know, if you shake it in any way, this event gets, gets triggered. Okay, and what I want to do is basically just make Malcolm's you know stuff happen. So I'm going to copy these blocks and paste them. Command C, Command V, um, Command C, Command V on that one. And so now if I shake my phone or touch Malcolm, it's going to do that computer voice saying, "I am Malcolm the tenth." Okay. Um, so anyway, that's those are the kind of the the changes I want to show you for for this project. Okay. The next thing I want to do is, is build a, a new project. So let's go back to my projects. All right. So I'm back here at the original I have a dream. Um, and I'm going to, you know, do a save project as, and I'm just going to call this, I have a dream three. And what I'm going to do is create a, um, let me call it, I have a dream four. It looks like I have one of those already. Um, I'm going to create a, a, one more picture and one more speech. Okay. So that'll be three, pictures, three speeches. And really what I want to do is show you how to upload images, upload sound files, and also kind of generalize your, your soundboard app you've built 
So you could have anything you want in there, as many pictures as you want in many speeches. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go through. I'm going to change this text a little bit, and because what I'm going to do is add Rosa Parks. I'm going to add one more picture um, to my app. Okay, so I need a little more room there. I'm going to get rid of this big picture. I don't need. I, I'm just going to basically show these two pictures and room Rosa three straight down. Okay, so I'm going to take them out of the horizontal arrangement. So I'm going to grab MLK, take them out, and I'll, I'll just take Malcolm out as well. So I've got both those guys out. Let me get rid of the horizontal arrangement. And now I've just got these two pictures straight down. Okay, so I need a new button. So I'm going to add a third button for my third picture. I don't need text there. And I'm going to load in a picture. I've got a Rosa Parks picture, so I'm going to click Upload File. And you know I can get any picture off the web download it onto your computer and then you just choose this upload and you go find it and um, choose it okay you might want to take it into Photoshop or some other program to kind of change its size like Rose is a little too small um, but I'm going to just try to use the the width and height here so I'm going to you know these Malcolm X these the smaller pictures are 152 pixels across so I'm going to make Rose's picture width 152 and then the height is 129. So let's see if that works. I think this is going to work okay. Um, you know, it might have changed the resolution a little bit. You know, so so anyway, that works. That works for me. Okay, so I've got my three buttons now. I'm going to rename this button Rosa button. So when we get to the blocks editor, we'll know which one is which. Okay, so I've got my three buttons, and I've got a picture. I also need to add another player component. So I'm going to go to media, add player. Three. I'm going to rename that the Rosa player. And of course, the important thing is to to set the source of that player, so I know what's going to be played. So I'm going to upload a file, choose file. I went to soundboard.com and I found uh, a Rosa um, file called "When You Refuse." It's just a small clip of her her speaking. It's very very interesting. Um, so now I have her source source file set. So um, Rosa player knows what it's going to play. Okay, so I've got my designer all set up. If I go to the blocks, um, basically I'm just going to copy this whole MLK event handler. Okay, and instead of MLK button, I'm going to do Rosa button. So when Rosa gets clicked, what what happens? And you know, of course, I want to pause Malcolm, but I'm also going to want to pause MLK, right? So uh, when each of these buttons is clicked, I'm going to need to pause two two different things. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all of them. In fact, I don't want MLK player here, I want Rosa. So when Malcolm buttons click, pause MLK and Rosa. And when MLK is clicked, also um, pause Rosa along with Malcolm. Okay, and then do what you're going to do with, with either play or start the, the one that got clicked. Okay, so I've got those pauses right. Now my Rosa button's not quite right. I need to check if she is playing, Rosa player's playing, and then pause her or start her if um, indeed it, it's playing or not. Okay, I think that should do it. Now I've got an app with three pictures, and really what I just did, you can use to build an app with any different different items. Okay, um, anyway, so there's there's your solution for the creative project of building your own soundboard app.